I received a viewer question about Dolby and if I ever test for it on the decks I rebuild. Uh, the answer is yes and no. Yes, in the sense that I always calibrate levels, and that's done with a Dolby level calibration tape, of course. And no, in the sense that my only other customary test is to listen to a good quality uh, factory recorded Dolby tape to see if it sounds right or if I hear any Dolby artifacts. By calibrating levels, which on this particular deck are measured on the Dolby chip itself, actually I think most decks could be done this way, but uh, that's the specified procedure on this series of task cams. And assuming nothing else is wrong, uh, the Dolby should track correctly. Now that said, uh, it's a valid question, and I thought that filming the test might make for an interesting video, and since I still have the deck here and it's been thoroughly rebuilt, I thought I'd just run the tests and, you know, see what we come up with. According to the manual, uh, the test should be run at a level of 3% distortion on a metal tape, Type 4 tape, uh, but I'm going to do this on a Type 2 chrome tape because I think that's more real world and what I expect to be recorded on this particular machine. So we need to find that 3% distortion level and we'll start out at zero and just, just double check, calibrate and get a baseline. Just balance out both channels at zero dB. I'm focused in here on the instrument, not on the tape deck. I can't get them both into focus. So right about there. Right there. That's where I want it. Okay, so that's my 0 dB level, and we'll do a third order or THD harmonic distortion. And of course on this deck, two heads has to be recorded and then played back. I guess it would help if I put a tape in. Using a TDK SA90 This is a uh, not a new a new a newly open tape that I used to set bias and, and test with. So I should be on a new spot on the tape. Something that has hasn't been recorded over before. So we'll just do uh, uh, zero dB and then I'll step it up and I'll start out here with uh, a two dB plus two dB at the twenty mark and then at the 40 mark I'll take it up to uh, plus 3 dB and then plus 4 dB and then somewhere in that range when we play it back I'll find where my 3% uh, distortion level is. Yeah, Take it up to about 4 dB and I'm looking at the lower right hand corner of the scope up above. Okay, return it to zero, play it back. So we'll confirm our zero dB distortion at should be around 56 point, uh, minus 56 dB and minus 1% distortion. I mean 1% distortion, I'm sorry. Okay, and there we go up to two d plus 2 dB, and we're seeing around 2.12% on the left and about 1.5 or so on the right channel. Yeah, 
3 dB. We're getting closer to that 3% on the left channel, still a little bit low on the right channel. And then here at plus 4 dB coming up, we're over 3 on the left. So let's just turn that down a little bit. make one more test I'm just gonna go back over the same spot here this is a new tape and I'm trying to save it out for biasing and testing it takes a few seconds to uh, calculate it Okay, so the left still looks a little bit high. I mean, we're probably close enough, but we'll maybe make just another another little adjustment. I don't think half a dB makes any difference on a test like this. Okay, still a little bit high on the left. And I think that right looks pretty good at around 2.7, 2.8. That's that's really close enough. Just turn the left down, reset zero, and now we'll we'll check the noise. So we'll start out here, Dolby off, with the counter at zero, and then about 20. I'll switch it over to uh, Dolby C of course that's the electronics okay 1920 switch it over to C Dolby C Okay, so I have about a count of 20 recorded at base and about 20 recorded at Dolby C. We'll make sure our okay, base level around, you know, 55 and a half, minus 55 and a half, minus 56, which is should be just like it was in the other video. Okay, on the 20, we switch it over to Dolby C. And now we're getting uh, minus 71 and minus 71 point, I mean, call it minus 72 dB on Dolby C. So that's a, uh, didn't test the B, but we'll, we'll test the B here. And I forgot to set the counter, so we'll just have to, Pay attention that I started at somewhere around 45 or 47. Okay, now it looks like my Dolby B numbers will be around minus. Uh, 64, 65, 64 and 65. We'll call it 65, like the marketing department would at Tascam. Yeah, and that looks really good. And uh, while we're here, Let's just double check one more time and make sure that we're actually at that plus three percent distortion on Dolby B.
Okay. So that's, those are good numbers. And um, so what we had was uh, the specs on the tape are uh, 19 dB delta on metal tape. We're getting 16 dB enhancement on uh, a type 2 tape. And I, you know, I mean, the deck was, the last of these decks were built in, I, I think, 2006. And I believe that this TDKSA tape was from around, well, say mid-90s. I'm not sure. But that's a pretty old tape. And, you know, to get those kind of figures on this, I'm happy with it. I, I don't know. I could expect any more than that. So I hope that answered your question. And um, maybe uh, somebody else enjoyed the video. I kind of enjoyed making it. It was fun to do. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to see you again.